Good afternoon, everyone. It's Marco here, Facebook Live for a Wednesday, uh, September the 5th. I'm asking you the question today, are you an entrepreneur or just a poser? And I'm speaking specific to those of you that are self-employed, whether it's in network marketing or direct sales or anything to do where you are stepping out of the norm, so to speak. So are you an entrepreneur or are you a poser? First of all, entrepreneurs, number one, do whatever it takes. An entrepreneur will do whatever it takes. I'm learning that through the ups and downs, through the challenges of every day in our business, but any sort of entrepreneur business where you wake up and you've got to show up, not just rely on someone else instructing you what to do or how to show up and when to go and what to do. Number two, entrepreneurs understand the ups and the downs. Now, I don't think I'm ever going to learn that as an entrepreneur, but I'm certainly understanding that as much as every day I feel great, I start out with my morning routine, and suddenly the day goes upside down, I'm getting much better at that over the years because I'm just understanding that this business, entrepreneurship, as an entrepreneur, is going to have the ups and downs. At best, you want to have an amazing day ahead, and often it, it absolutely uh, crushes itself and you have an extraordinary day. Other days you are in that same mindset and suddenly something uh, goes the wrong direction and suddenly you're in a down phase. So entrepreneurs understand the ups and downs. Entrepreneurs how to get over obstacles. So an entrepreneur will know how to get over an obstacle. So as much as the frustration, hey DeAndre, I hope you're doing well. Entrepreneurs understand how to get over an obstacle. They won't sit there and have a pity party over the obstacle ahead of them. They will try to go over, around, underneath, uh, maybe hold up and then push through, whatever it takes to get over the obstacle. A poser will simply look at that and just freeze. And that is something that distinguishes an entrepreneur that within you, you pull it within you to understand and go back to your why. Why are you building the business that you're building? When that why literally makes you cry looking at a picture of a family, uh, your favorite charity, your loved ones. When you understand or any other why that speaks to you, whatever your why may be, and you see that obstacle ahead of you, that obstacle is simply in the way. So you're going to find a way to get around that as an entrepreneur to go past it and move on. Entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs don't let the, the bad days phase them. You know, a lot of people starting in our business may reach out to initial people, initial circles of influence, uh, get rejected, not receiving the answer they were expecting because of the connection. The important thing to understand in this business is when you're reaching out to someone, that person hasn't changed when they say yes to you or they say no to you. It's the reaction you're getting from them that really stings you. But that individual, that prospect hasn't changed. So don't let a bad prospect, don't let a bad day affect you. You are simply reaching out to people as an entrepreneur. Their world is just cruising along. You're intercepting their space and asking them a question to take a look. Are they open? If not, no worries. So don't attach yourself to the conclusion, the answer. Attach yourself to the process of making sure you are reaching out to a number of people on a very consistent basis and through that process you will see that those bad days that you have won't sting as much because you won't be affected by so much as the result as the number the process the doing of every single day finally entrepreneurs are always learning and improving and a poser pretends he or she knows it all as an entrepreneur and the ones I'm meeting that are my mentors, I'm seeing such humbleness in these mentors of mine, be it in our company, our senior partners, or just, you know, influences on social media that I'm, I'm following. A sense of always not knowing, always wanting to learn more and grow and become more and, and, and decipher from the books and the podcasts and literally be a student of your day every single day. That's what an entrepreneur is versus a poser that comes in, especially into our business from the get-go, and based on where they came from, 
uh, expect to reach success quickly. It's a journey, and entrepreneurs understand that. So entrepreneurs do whatever it takes. Entrepreneurs understand the ups and downs. They understand how to get over obstacles. They don't let those bad days phase them as much as they pose her. And finally, entrepreneurs are always, always learning and improving and growing always knowing that there's more to learn, remaining a student. Hope you got some value from that. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. We'll chat soon.